Hello everyone, it's Catherine K with KK Treasure Store for B-Bay. And uh, first of all, let me apologize. Um, for those of you that do know, I live with my son. And for those of you that don't know, I live with my son for health reasons. And um, he's having roof work and siding and all this stuff done on the house. And quite frankly, you're going to possibly hear a lot of banging and booms and saws. And I mean, I don't know if it's going to transfer to the camera or not, the sounds. So if you do hear those, no worries. I'm fine. It's just uh, them outside working. Okay. Now, what we're doing today, and welcome to the channel, by the way, um, is we are doing the part two of my budget bead box that came uh, yesterday. Now, I was in such a hurry to get this open because I wanted to see all of the goodies in it that... Um, I forego waiting for all of the noises to go away. Okay? I couldn't wait. So, here we go. And I was intending to get back to doing my second part yesterday. But then some other things came up. And so, I had to uh, put it off until this morning. So, here we go. Now, yesterday, we did the beads that came in the box. Now, I want you to look at this box. Okay? We all know that size box is just a little box, but it was so full that it was so heavy. <laughs> uh, it contains 71 or 72 pieces, I think it is, that comes with this box. And whenever I counted out all of the beads after the video yesterday when I was looking at them again and getting them put away, there was 37 bags of beads. Think about that for a second. 37 bags of beads. Plus, there was one charm. Okay. There was actually eight specialty beads, one charm, and 24 bags of beads. So, all together, oh, and five bags of seed beads. Don't leave those out. So, that was a total of 37 bags with beads and one charm. Now, the box cost $40, okay, and we know that Catherine Kay doesn't like putting out that kind of money because she doesn't have it, but uh, for what this is, um, I, I forego, uh, you know, some other things that I needed or wanted to do that I needed to do that I didn't do because I wanted this box, okay? Um, let me tell you a little bit about it. It is not a monthly subscription. Okay, you know that I do the um, Bargain Bee Box subscription. Now, that one is a subscription. You get it every month. Okay, and it is a themed subscription. Now, this one, Budget Bee Box, is not a monthly subscription. Let me explain that. It is, you go on the site, and if you want what they have to offer... Now, they only do a certain amount of bags or boxes each month. Uh, then you order it. It's just that simple. United States is free shipping. I don't know, honestly, if they do um, international shipping or not. I really am not uh, that versed on it. Okay. But, okay, for the number of items that you've already seen, if you saw yesterday's video... A total of 38 items and the box is $40 what does that tell you now what she tries to do the owner I believe her name and forgive me if I'm wrong but I think her name is Shirley she tries to go in and um, get basics things everybody that wants to um, either beef up their existing beads that they do uh, you know their findings and all of that stuff that comes with beading. Um, she tries to go in and buy those in bulk and then separates them into smaller quantities that she can divide into um, orders for everybody to get some of them at a better price, okay? Now, for me, an example, I'm just getting into beading and 
so there's a lot of things I need. And I just couldn't afford to go out and buy, 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 buy. So this particular box gives me the chance at going ahead with some of the things maybe that I have already received to possibly start trying to learn to make things. Now, we all know that I did the beading uh, stretch bracelet. Uh, and that video is in the playlist somewhere if you want to go back and see that. I did those, and I was quite proud of myself for those. Um, and I've actually already done a necklace and a bracelet um, from some of the other things that I've gotten. But to be honest, with the back procedure I just had last week, um, I think it messed with more than just my back uh, because I can't remember what I did with the bracelet nor the necklace. I, I, I can't find them. When I do find them, I'll let you know and I'll show them to you. Um, but what I'm getting at here is this is a box for anybody that likes to either get into beading or that is already established beater and just needs to beef up or replenish their stash. Okay, now yesterday's box we devoted to the beads. Today, or rather yesterday's video, we, div uh, we went with the, the beads. And today we're going to do the findings. All of the good stuff that we need to um, get into that. And we got two heavy big bags here. So um, I think we'll start with this one first. And please note my pretty little pink if you can see it bead mat came with the uh, box needless to say I didn't have a bead mat so I'm very very proud of my bead mat now <laughs> you know you go in and you watch all of these things and these these people they say wait wait a minute let me get my bead mat down and I, I've never had a bead mat so <laughs> all right Let's put that over here out of the way, and let's put these down here. Okay, here we go. This first one is an Alloy Swirl Links Lead Calcium and Nickel Free Antique Silver 1 Millimeter, four pieces. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's neat. All right, so, so this is just what they're calling a link, a link. Now remember, you may hear me say stuff that is stupid. <clears throat> I am just learning all of this stuff, so I may be wrong. I think yesterday I was flabbergasted that one of the uh, small beads was called a pearl, and it dawned on me later that, yeah, they could do whatever they want with those things, and so um, it was a pearl. <laughs> It's just a, a little pearl, a little four millimeter, I think, pearl. Um, anyway, okay, so this is a finding, and this is a link. Okay. Really neat. Needless to say, I need all of this stuff because I don't have any of it at this point. I do now. <laughs> well, I take that back. One friend did send me something, and which surprised me. And um, there was uh, some, I think, if I remember correct, some um, links in that. Okay. These are hemp ring, Tibetan style links, antique silver, 15 pieces. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I see the rope style. Do you? You see the rope style in there? Okay, 15 pieces of that. Ooh, okay, what's this? This is uh, four pieces of antique silver Tibetan. And you know I'm probably saying that wrong. Tibetan, um, Tibetan style alloy charms. They're called horse eye. Okay. Horse eye. Okay. Well, I see the eye shape, but why call it a horse eye? 
I think I said yesterday, it's funny to me how people come up with names for things. I, I just, it amazes me. All right. Ooh, starfish. I know what those are. All right, we got starfish, uh, three pieces, 2.5 or two and a half meter meter antique silver charms. Got three of those. And those are pretty. And by the way, I think I counted yesterday. I said something. I wonder how many times I'm going to say pretty. Well, all together there was, uh, what did I just say, 38 items? I think I said it 38 times. Okay. <laughs> Here we have a chandelier component. Six pieces in antique silver, tie beaten style. Let's see if we can see those. Oh, those are pretty. I like that. Look at that like a flower almost and it doesn't say shape it just says okay neat so you see these are things that you you just when you're starting you can't afford to just go out and buy all right what do we got here here we have Tibetan style link what is that rhombus fil filigree Antique silver four pieces. Oh, okay, so we got a connection here and a connection there. That's neat. I like that. Do pretty too. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? We have not shaped links, two millimeter, ten pieces, and this is a Tibetan chandelier, not shape link. Okay. Oh, I see. Not shape. <laughs> I was like, not shape? What are they talking about? There we go. Can you see that? That's interesting. And how many pieces? Ten pieces in that? Okay. I think so far my favorite one down here is going to be these. Yeah, that's so far. There's a long way to go. Oh, look at the flowers. Okay, let's see. Flat round flower, Tibetan style beads, antique silver, six pieces, one millimeter. Those are pretty. I like flowers. Okay, what we got here? We got uh, flower... Chandelier links, antique silver four pieces. Oh, okay. These are similar to something I've already seen. Where did I see that? I don't remember. But here's where, this is why it's a chandelier, is you've got your main one up here, and then your three links down here. And this is what it looks like. This is the back side. And this is what it looks like on top. Pretty. All right. Okay, this one is Tibetan style uh, link, chandelier link, color antique silver, four pieces. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, five piece. Got places for five strings there. Did you see that? That is, I like that. Now, I think I'm just, I'm not quite yet ready for five links though. <laughs> I gotta, I've got to um, uh, master the one link first. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, and these are in gold. Okay, what we got here? Oh, ghost. Okay. Tibetan style ghost charms, color golden, three millimeter, six pieces. And there you see the front, and here you see the back. What, uh, what I'm finding f funny about this is that I had bid and won 
on um, eBay auction some ghost charms, and I lost the auction, not because I got outbid, but because they were out of stock when they went to fill the order and didn't know it was out of stock. So there's me some ghost. Fantastic. Now, I will tell you that from what I found out about um, Budget Bee Box is every month they're going to put different things in and maybe different finishes, different styles, different everything. I mean, you know, uh, just so that they can uh, keep it going with helping you to get lots of stuff for your collection, for your stash. All right, flower, chandelier link, antique silver, four pieces. All right, come on down here. Now, you know, normally I take things out of bags, but like yesterday, these things, I mean, there's just so much to go through that I don't have time to uh, take it out of the bag and, and do that right now. So I hope you'll forgive me for not doing that. These are pretty, though. Those almost look like hearts, don't they? Do you see that? They're supposed to be flowers, but to me, they almost look like hearts. Okay. All right. Now we have, what do we got here? Here we have Tibetan style toggle clasp. Ring size 16 by 30 millimeter, bar size is 19 millimeter, hole size is one and a half meter millimeter, and there's five sets. Five sets. Um, that's another thing. Being new into this, all of these sizes and all of this stuff, it does tend to confuse me. So, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, there's the ring. You see that there, and then here's the bar <coughs> excuse me yes I've still got my cloth and pardon me just a second I need to get a swallow of something to drink <coughs> I'm sorry about that okay Moving right along. Butterfly, Tibetan style, alloy beads, antique silver, 10 pieces. Oh, little butterflies. Look at that. <laughs> Man, those are little. Look at it, size next to my fingernail. <laughs> He's a little butterfly. Those are really darling. They're cute. <laughs> and pretty. I got to put that in there. Okay, Tibetan style, multi-strand link, color amber, or antique, I'm sorry, silver, one, four pieces. What is this? Oh, okay. They're links. That means it's got three holes on each side. This one does. Three holes on each side to link a bracelet or necklace together. That's the front side. And this is what the back side looks like. Oh, those are darling. Look at those little ones. Okay, we have flower hanger link Tibetan style. Um, hanger bell bead. Ten pieces. A bell bead. Oh, okay. Okay. Does this mean, for those of you that know, which says I don't know, does this mean these are actually basically made to put on the extender chain in? Flower hanger bill bead. Okay. At least that's what I'm seeing there. But they do have 
place that you can use on both sides. I'm confused if it's got the hole up there and it's got two side holes. Okay, knowing beater, somebody help me out here. What am I looking at? All right, moving right along. Like I told you to begin with, I don't claim to know what I'm doing here. Okay, we got a twist oval, Tibetan style connector. I think that says two millimeter. That might say seven millimeter. And again, that might say Z miller millimeter. <laughs> I don't know, four pieces. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see the hammered on that side and I see that side. And there are connectors in that there's a hole on each side. So you can use those in even either direction, I guess. All right, the last one in this bag. Okay. Heart with heart. Tibetan style alloy charm lead. Lead free, all that good stuff. And I take silver two pieces. Oh, I see. But it says two pieces. And I've got four. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's four. All right, what you see here is a heart by heart and a connector up there. Little charms. All right, that's all in that bag. Now we have this one. This is what I heard somebody call the guts of the box. <laughs> in that it has all of the things beginning beaters really need to start. And we're going to attempt to figure out what these things are. Here is the list. I'm going to try and see what we have. Okay. This is a beading wire. Look at there. I know what that is. It's beading wire. Let's see if we can find it on here. Uh, no. All right, this one here is the memory wire. I've got three memory wires here. Okay, that one I figured out. All right, wire guarding. All right, I don't see it, but I know it's on here. I'm just not seeing it. Okay. But this is beading wire. That I know. Does that tell you I don't know anything? Okay. And these are head pins. They're about two ounces or seven millimeter of head pins and the antique silver and this one is the eye pen so we've got seven millimeter size i mean bag of eye pens we have what do we have here these are ear wires i know what this is this is down here somewhere i saw it down here Stainless steel ear wires. Okay. So, stainless steel ear wires. Alright, these are lobster claws. I know what those are. Let's see if we see them. Do, 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 do. Lobster claw. Where are you? Okay, let's put this away because I'm obviously not knowing what this is. And hold just a moment. Somebody's at the door.
Okay, I'm sorry about that. Workers letting me know they're leaving for a few minutes. They'll be right back. Joy, joy. Okay, look, I'm going to put that aside and just look at some of this stuff because I'm not finding it, and we're already at 25 minutes. Okay, I know this is beading thread. That much I do know. This is, um, or is that elastic? All right, now I'm curious. Is this thread or elastic? Usually... Uh, it's elastic. Hmm. Okay, I thought it was thread thread, but it's elastic. Okay, so this is the elastic fiber. Okay. And these are obviously lobster claws as I was looking at them a while ago. And I can't... There we go. Yeah, see, lobster claws. Okay. And these are, let's see if I can find the corresponding things that goes with them. Okay. If I know right, these are the big clamps that go. Um, at the end and then these go over the top of these to make them look pretty yeah bead caps beads bead clamps okay all right and I have no idea I guess these are something Okay, I think you could put a um, crystal there, and this is um, a bell, maybe. All right. Show of hands that thinks I need to learn a lot. Me, me. Okay. These are wire guards. Or what do you call them? Um, I'm trying to remember here. Guardians. Wire guardians. Okay. And those go at the end of bracelets or necklaces that you want to protect it from coming apart at the ends with the attention. The, Oh, okay. Those of you that know what I'm trying to say. Okay, these are bead caps. I've got that one. These are flower bead caps. See, there's the bead cap right there. I know what those are. All right, then we've got just some little spacer beads. Some silver tone spacer beads. We have... All right, what are these? Um, these are jump rings and split rings. I couldn't remember the name of them. And there's all different sizes in here. These are the split rings, and these are the jump rings, and they too have all different sizes, so that is cool. Very cool. And this is chain. And I don't remember... How much or what kind and I don't see I'm, I'm sitting here trying to see it and I'm not seeing it so we've got a lot of little chain here that we can use and I'm sorry that I'm being such a bad um, person here and trying to show it to you and tell you what it is when I know it's on this list but I'm looking at it Nylon cord and string wire, nope, 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 nope. 
Nope, nope, iron cream, nope, bales, nope, member wire, nope, lobster claws, iron twisted club change, nope, 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 lead, nope, three, nope. I don't see it. This is chain. As if you didn't already know that was a chain. Even those not doing beading knows that's a chain. And there's a lot of it there. I am so sorry in that I can't tell you what the type is because I don't know. I'm still trying to learn and I'm sure it must be on this card, but if it is, I don't see it and my mind's not working. All right, now, um, but as you can see, or not see, there you go. Look, my bead mat is full. You see that? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We have 34 items here. You put that with the total of 38 items on the other side, and you figure that into $40, and I think I'm doing just fine thank you very much it's well worth it um, now I just got to learn what the actual names of some of these things are that I've totally murdered in the video and um, eventually I will learn them but at age 68 it might take me a little longer <laughs> but anyway okay I appreciate your watching, if you're watching. Um, I've noticed in my last video, several people started to watch, and when they saw what it was, they just went away. So, for those of you that stuck with me, thank you very much. You're much, much, much appreciated. If you do have a YouTube channel and would like to add your channel, uh, add it into the comments, let other people know. It can be for any uh, it could be for jewelry unboxing or unbagging. It can be for um, jewelry making. Whatever your YouTube channel is, please feel free to put it in the comments. I like to try and support other YouTubers. I know how hard it is to try and get subscribers. Um, it seems that I finally hit over 200 but then all of a sudden it started they, they started leaving me so okay fine that's okay i do it because i love it and i love all of those of you who stick with me thank you all right that's going to be it for now um i have another procedure coming up so i'm not really sure when i will get back with another uh video it should be um i've already been asked uh I got an email from somebody that asked me to show them how I'm coping with storing all of this stuff, knowing that I am uh, limited on places and areas that I can store. So I might try and do a video about that, uh, but we will see. In the meantime, thank you very much. Everybody have a great day. If you're not subscribed, please consider to do so and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.